William Penn was one of the best known Quakers in England, a young, dedicated man who had been jailed several times for his beliefs. By 1680, Penn was convinced that the Quakers need a new home, one where they could live their religion in peace. He asked King Charles II to repay a debt the king owed to the Penn family by granting him land in America, and in 1681, the king agreed, naming the future colony Pennsylvania or Penn's Woods. Unlike some of the other colonies which grew without foresight, Pennsylvania was carefully planned. Penn viewed it as a holy experiment, meaning he was going to try and prove that people could live in love and harmony according to Quaker beliefs. Penn didn't believe that meant it should only be a home to Quakers, though. He wanted the colony to be a haven for non-Quakers, too. In order to attract settlers, Penn distributed pamphlets about Pennsylvania in England, Ireland, Wales, Scotland, Germany, the Netherlands, and Switzerland. Hundreds of people responded and purchased land from Penn. Before he even left England, Penn convinced 750 Quakers to invest in his province by paying 100 pounds for 5,000 acres that had not even been located or surveyed yet. As a matter of fact, Penn was so convincing that 23 shiploads of immigrants came to Pennsylvania in 1682 alone, the same year that Penn himself finally arrived. Funny enough, of all the land Penn sold, only half of the new owners ever came to Pennsylvania to settle their new property. News of the new colony naturally concerned the Swedes, Finns, Dutch, and English who had already settled in the area before it was gifted to Penn. It also concerned the Native Americans who made their home in the area. But in the spring of 1681, Penn sent his cousin William Markham ahead as the deputy governor. He arrived bearing a letter from Penn which addressed the residents as my friend and assured them that they would be governed by laws of their own making and continue to live as a free people.